My name is Chris Rosoff, and I've come here to do both my master's and PhD in atmospheric science. My master's in uh, urban heat island research, and now I'm pursuing my PhD in uh, hurricane dynamics. Hurricane dynamics is interesting because it takes a kind of a broad topic like fluid dynamics and meshes it with uh, things you observe in nature uh, and different other physical processes like clouds which are complicated. Right now I'm studying eyewall dynamics and right now an important area of study in hurricanes is understanding intensification and forecasting how intensity will change in a hurricane because that has a major impact on where it hits. If it's category one hurricane it's not going to be as devastating as a category five hurricane. These hurricanes can undergo rapid transitions that are fairly unpredictable yet. There's a lot of physical mechanisms uh, to describe this process that need to be understood. My work involves basically the details of the fluid dynamics of the intensification process. The department is a great place to study. Uh, it's a very positive atmosphere. It's kind of professional, but yet a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy working with a lot of graduate students. We have a lot of really top-notch students to interact with. That's where a lot of the learning takes place, uh, is doing homework assignments with one another, sharing research ideas, and oftentimes we'll publish papers together. And on top of that, you have a top-notch faculty that's always available. It's a really nice advantage of our program is having that close professional interaction with our faculty advisors. And there's a lot of other scientists. We collaborate here and outside of CSU. We work regularly with NCAR, which is down in Boulder. And there's a lot of national centers for atmospheric research down there. CSU as a whole is a nice uh, campus. We're out in the foothills, so uh, there's a lot of opportunities to enjoy recreation if we need a break to take a hike or run in the foothills. And the area, you couldn't ask for a better place to live. I think Fort Collins is a nice community, um, smaller, and yet offers everything of a big city. And if you need the really big city, you can drive down to Denver about 50 minutes without traffic. Almost all the students have a lot of opportunities to travel. And conferences are one of the most common forms of travel. The interaction we receive at conferences is um, invaluable. Uh, because you meet all kinds of people, the top experts that have great ideas to share with you and challenge your ideas. Uh, other areas of travel involve field projects, and a lot of students participate in field projects across the world. Um, for example, right now there's a lot of people down in Mexico from our department uh, taking observations, working with uh, the observational people down there to help guide them in making forecasts. And that's pretty common. Yearly, there are field projects out there, and a lot of people from our department participate in them, give them theoretical support, uh, modeling, and also observational support. Well, Colorado State uh, has a pretty good reputation, and I knew that when I was looking for graduate schools and undergraduate school. It's pretty diverse in the amount of uh, options it offers in atmospheric science. It pretty much covers every topic in atmospheric science and has one or two experts working in that area of study. Uh, another thing I like about the program is it seems to have a nice balance between modeling, observations, and theoretical studies. And a lot of programs seem to be strong on one or the other, but this program really brings it all together. And so it's definitely a special program in that sense.